So hi right, guys, got a really interesting video here for you later on in the video. I'll be standing in front of the camera with some biomechanics sensors on and showing you the PGA2 averages of hip movement. In this part of the video, it's very interesting. If we're seeing certain players opening up their hips a lot, but others are not. How much do you, as a golfer yourself, have to open up your hips? And perhaps I can answer some of the questions here in this video. This is some of the things we're showing you on worldclassgolf.com, free trial series, and check that out, guys. Look at the club face on the left here, Dustin Johnson. And we've got a quite a closed club face. So when we you know, get a clock over that uh, club head here, we can see that that toe of that club is pointing up to one o'clock. We're seeing Lee Westwood, wonderful ball striker, one of the best in the last you know, 25 years. Much a, a much more neutral club face position, and this is something that we're seeing with a lot more club golfers around the world. And coming down with a little, little bit more of an open face. As we know, we've got millions and millions of people really fading and slicing the ball around the world. We're seeing then Dustin Johnson, you know, to stop the hook, to understanding swing characteristics. See the, the flexion in that lead wrist here, that club face is bowed down and really opening up the hips to stop hitting it left. Now those hips have opened up a lot. This is what I'll show you later on in the video, but they're around about 70 degrees, perhaps a bit more massively open. And then we're looking at Lee Westwood here. Open faces, you know, we don't have fast hips. We've got to get that club face to close back down, so we're going to be more flat-footed, and the hips probably somewhere around 20 degrees, which I'll show you coming up. So understanding your own swing pattern is very, very important to reaching your ball striking potential. If you look at some of the best ball strikers in the world and they're not really open up in the hips, you're going to be seeing a lot of the time the club face in a passive position. Now looking from the front view, now if you've seen some of my other videos, we're always talking about the four to six inches of lateral movement. That helps the low point of your swing arc, pressing the ball out. But getting a gauge here of how to do it's also very interesting. Now when you're having a look here at this knee position from Adam Scott, if I draw a line down here, just have a look at that number. Because you've got the averages of movement. It's really, really important. 60 degrees. Let's have a look on the other side here as we, we have a look at McElroy moving through the ball. You'll see these players moving a lot forwards and through the golf ball and really getting that shaft lean, you know, similar in that compression. And this knee position helps a lot. We've got around 64, 65 degrees here. Now, club golfers are miles away from that. Let me just show you a couple of club golfers before we move into the video. Guys, uh, if you're want to subscribe plenty of videos coming away if you want to check out worldclassgolf.com uh, check out that it's a free trial series there's no credit card you can just jump on and see if you like it it's uh really helping dropping handicaps and heaps of people joining which is really really good guys have a look at this in the impact this is what we're seeing a lot with the club players here 81 82 degrees and uh, you're going to be seeing them a lot of the time into the high 70s they're not really going to be having enough lateral movement here and uh, coming into impact, we're going to be flipping it. And you know, you can see that position there as well, really into the 79 degree area and creating a bit of a collision. This is also something that adds to the chicken wing fat shots, thin shots. Guys, let's now have a look at some facts of evidence-based material. When we're looking at ball striking, some biomechanics here. And uh, I think you'll find this very interesting. So hi everybody, Craig Hanson here, and really looking forward to showing you this area, these videos here. We're going to be looking at some biomechanics, we're going to be looking at the tilts and turns, and uh, show everyone out there how to estimate extremely closely where you are, simply by using your mobile phones or when you're filming your swings. So I'll show you a few drills if you're not into filming your swings, so that you'll get a very good understanding of also these acceptable numbers. Okay, now the reason that we do it when we're looking at uh, averages of great players, great ball strikers, it's interesting when we look at you know inside certain degrees of where they are if we get ourselves also inside all of these averages and it makes it much easier to play some great golf there's a lot said that it's not possible to get in there with you when filming swings and uh, seeing all that stuff that's not true I've got all the equipment and I'm going to show you how to do that obviously a lot of companies uh, are suggesting that that's not possible you can see so much even with estimating numbers of plane and path and uh, turns and tilts simply by filming your swings. So guys, we're gonna be looking at hip turn here at impact rotation. Uh, two averages between 35 and 50 degrees. Don't forget that's an average, but uh, a lot of people are really trying through uh, the use of a lot of videos out there to get themselves into positions that uh, are well over that number. And as I'm a, a professional instructor and I've taught people from all around the world, I'm seeing a lot of people at impact with not enough rotation with the bottom half. So I'm going to show you how to estimate this very, very uh, closely 
and uh, get yourself extremely close to these numbers and perhaps we'll use a little bit of a feel or a drill here to get there. World Class Golf Instruction has over 700 detailed videos for every golfer. Practice programs and evidence-based material is applied in helping you to become your own coach and play your best golf. Join us in the chat room and join the community of World Class Golf Instruction. Let's have a look at firstly what we're talking about. When we're talking about rotation of the hips, we'll be looking at getting ourselves rotating in this direction. Okay, now that is at the moment 45 degrees open. I'm going to show you what's much more than that and give you an idea of when you're filming your swings what to check and what to look at. Now the reason that we create what we need when we have the hips rotated, we obviously have a clear way, we're not creating a collision, we're getting our weight to transfer. We need, excuse me, we need in the golf swing two things. We need movement laterally and an opening up. Okay, so we need around four to six inches of lateral movement plus the rotation of the hips. Now the shoulders will be between 24 to 36 degrees rotated. We're going to get into that in another video. Normally when you get your hips here, you'll get extremely close to that as well. So it starts a little bit from using your feet and your knees correctly. That's where we're gripping the ground. So let's get in there and have a look. So when we set ourselves up, okay, so we're going to get up here. We're at zero degrees here. So there's nothing there's nothing happening, okay? So the more that I move in this direction, the more the hips open. And this is what's, this is the, the area that, that concerns me is that people uh, don't realize that the average is 35 to 50 and 35, it's not a lot, okay? It, it, it's not really that much or, or the way that we look at it. So when I move into the hips being like 20 degrees open, they're 20 degrees open here it looks like I haven't turned at all. Okay, so you're still seeing, don't forget, you're still seeing great players, Lee Westwood, many other players with and not really opening up their hips as much and they're under the average, right? Now when I take this, when I get myself into, get it into 40 degrees. So there's 40 degrees. So there you can start to see the left butting a little bit, a little bit of the lead leg. And we're seeing a lot of people telling people to get into this type of that's up to you're up to 60 degrees now and there are players obviously up there but there the goal was that having really shut wrists and hands and and pausing the hips and for the general public for getting your hips into a 60 degree area it's just going to be a, for a lot of you too much okay so we want to be able to get into this position without it being disruptive so let's have a look again so that you get an idea so if you're filming your swing we'll get into what have we got okay we'll get zero So that's 20 degrees, there's 40 degrees. So that is, would be the average position that you're after. And it's not really as far open as perhaps what some people would suggest on video and getting in there and doing stuff like that where I've now rotated to 70 degrees. And so getting yourself in the averages makes sense, it's proven evidence based material. Now. We want to get some lateral, we want to get uh, this knee and, and moving in this direction. When we get the knee to cover the golf ball, there is a pressure point on the inside of this foot. You're going to see so many great players, McElroy, Adam Scott, Tiger Woods, you see so many of these players getting that right knee over the ball at impact. And that's going to give you some shift forwards, but plus get an opening. It's not a really disruptive thought, working from the knee down to the ankle. Okay, so when, you, when you're practicing this and you're getting that right knee to cover, you've got to be also careful that you're not kicking this right knee out in this direction. That when you're getting through, the hips or, or the knees will be in the finished position together and not out in this direction. So, I'm going to pop my right knee over the ball now. And we've got 42 degrees. And there's 50. So by practicing little swings and getting that club to move in sync that's the look you're going to get from behind and then when you've got that feel you come in and hit one after talking for that long let's, let's see how we go okay a little a little thin but not bad nice direction so guys, that, that will give you a bit of an idea of how much the hips are open and how much is not enough, okay? Getting this look here, 
you're only going to be close to zero. A little bit, you're going to be only around to 20 degrees. Getting into here, you're going to be around 45, 40 degrees. And when you're seeing that much, you're right up over, over the average. And that will give you a better gauge using this knee. Turn these hips to get you in the corridor of the PGA Professionals.